It's time for FTV News with your anchors and the entire FTV News team. Good morning, welcome to Falcon TV. Today is Tuesday, January 2nd. This year, one thing new we are gearing up for is that FTV will be bringing you live editions of the show. But we'll let you know when those are coming. Seniors, if you got a car, a pet, or some baby pictures, you need to send them into your yearbook so they can be put in there for all to see. An advisor extended the time period into early January. The math club is getting a jump on Pi Day and selling shirts they can be found with Mrs. McDonald in the lower 300 wing. The NHS have a PBAJ day with the Davies this Thursday. Teachers and students, if you have any extra jars of peanut butter or jelly or some spare loose of bread, 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 and would like to help out, please bring them into Mr. Lacqua or Ms. Alvarado's room in 301 or Gardens. In sports news, before the break, the Ocrest wins overall title at AC Holiday Invitational Meet. The boys won the title with 587 points, and the combined girls' title with, was 1,014. The Ocrest boys was led by Andrew Thompson and Dylan Horsey, both whom had two individual wins. Other Falcons who scored important points included Eric Wheats, Garrick LaRoche, and Carlos Oscano. For the girls, Bella Pagan, Kaylee Hernandez, Caitlin Stollenwerk, and Rael Pagan, nice job to the swim team. The Humane Society of Ocean City often highlights their pet of the week. If you're thinking about adopting a pet to your family, please consider adopting from the Humane Society of Ocean City, a non-kill shelter recognized as one of the nation's top 10 animal shelters. All of the animals are spayed, neutered, vaccinated, and microchipped before adoption. All animals also receive an alumni card, which entitles them to a 10% lifetime discount for veterinary services at the Humane Society of Ocean City Clinic. Recently, Sadie the Cat was featured an adorable, petite, solid gray and white, domestic, short hair, female cat, approximately one year old. Congratulations, Miss Chip, for being Teacher of the Year. How does it feel? Uh, Miles, I think you mean Miss Japini. Congratulations also to Miss Yondoli for Educational Services Professional of the Year. They do a great job helping out, and thank you for all that you do. Recently, FTV reporter Alana Conti spoke to the students of computing for their college class about their training and what they currently are covering. I've already applied to Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C., a college in California called CSUN, and RITD, and that's in New York in Rochester. I've applied to Rosemont College in Pennsylvania, Arcadia in Pennsylvania with East Tennessee State and Savannah State University, and I'm looking at University of New Haven. I've applied to Drexel, Rowan, TCNJ, and Stockton. I've applied to Penn State University, Rutgers University, Stetson University, and Monmouth University. The class has helped me in regards to being prepared for college, applying to colleges, this class has helped me with the application process, with scholarships, and with financial aid to help me to get into college and everything. I'll be studying chemical engineering. I plan on being a pre-law major or political science. When it comes to applying for a college, you need to start early and you need to just be confident in what you've done in high school because not everything's going to go your way. So just trust the process and believe that you're going to get into the colleges that you want. Computing for college has helped us all uh, push in preparation for leaving, helps us with scholarships, helps us overall uh, applying for everything, uh, anything you could think of in preparation to leave. For today, from everyone here at FTV News, have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.